Hey clean freaks and germaphobes, what's up you guys? Today I'm gonna to be testing six different methods on how to clean grout the very, very best. I'm in a kitchen here that has some really dirty tile, that has some really dirty grout. We're gonna put some of the best methods to see which one is the best and which one also is a little bit easier to be around. Some cleaners are pretty strong, not only in their cleaning abilities, but also just the fumes and the chemicals that can make cleaning, especially cleaning a large surface, a little bit more difficult. You have to open up the windows, you might have to wear a mask. And so when I look at what's best, I don't just look at what cleans the best, but also which is the easiest to work with. So we're going to get into that right now. But first, if you're new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, my name is Diana. We love to clean, organize, disinfect, and of course, test different products to see what works. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. But for now, let's dive in. So once I have picked the very best method out of all of these, I am going to just go ahead and clean the rest of their tile floor here. I wanna leave this area looking better than when I came here and I can't leave a clean spot just in the middle where the tests were done. So we'll clean the whole floor with the winner and I'll show you the final result. So we got all of our cleaners here, so let's get started. So here are the different products that I want to use here. I've got OxyClean. I've got Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner. I've got Zet Grout Cleaner. And then back there, I've got a Magic Eraser, Dawn Platinum Power Wash. And then right here, this is actually OxyClean too, but it's in a powder form. I wonder if this will work a little bit better because in the powder form, it's more abrasive. We are not at my house actually, and the lighting isn't as great here as I wish it was, but we'll do our best here. The grout actually looks worse on film than it is when I look at it with my own eyes, but I still think we'll be able to tell which one of these is gonna work better. So let's start right here with the OxyClean. This one is Max Force. This is great for my clothes. And we'll try the toilet bowl cleaner. I would caution anybody about doing the toilet bowl cleaner on a large surface. If you had a big floor, I would never use this. It's really, really strong. We've tried that before. But if it's just a little area like this, it's probably okay. All right, here's the grout cleaner by Zep. And I want to be really careful here. I don't want to be mixing anything. I don't need to do anything with the magic eraser just yet. Let's spray on some Dawn Platinum Power Wash, which I love. I use it lots of different places in my house all the time. This is a brand new bottle. There we go. And then finally, we've got this. I just threw it in a bag to bring over here. So I'm just going to sprinkle this on and then I will use a bowl of water. And then what we'll use is a toothbrush to agitate all of these. I'm gonna try to keep it equal as to how long I scrub each section so that it's a fair test. We'll just start right back here, kind of get it wet. Scrub each of these for 10 seconds. I'm not timing it, I'm actually just counting in my head. This is the Dawn Platinum Power Wash. While I was doing this grout test, I found something that I was pretty excited about. See this right here? I saw this poking out of a towel. I know that something is underneath there and I know steam cleaners. <laughs> that definitely looks like a steam cleaner attachment. So I was so excited when I looked and I found this. They have a steam cleaner here. This is not a brand I'm familiar with, Simber. I've never heard of that brand of steam cleaners but I am going to use it. I'm gonna try it out on the grout to see how well it does. I've used steam cleaners on my grout. In fact, I use that most of the time and it works so well. So I'm gonna add that to the test. I'm just gonna try it right here in this space right here. Same thing, 10 seconds, we'll see how it does. All right, that was 10 seconds. Although I wanna do it longer because it's so satisfying to see that clean so well. So. I'm gonna wipe that off, we'll let that dry, and then we'll compare that with the others. Okay, so I'm gonna do this right here. I did some practice runs right here, but this one is in the same line as the rest of the tests, so I'm gonna do it right here to compare. So we'll leave that right there, wipe that off, and let that dry along with the rest of them, and we'll see which one is the very best. Okay, so we are back to decide the winner, and I gotta be honest, I am not really seeing one winner over any other. As I look at each of these, if I really had to pick a winner, I would say probably the Lysol, but I don't feel like it's that much better 
In fact, when I'm looking at it compared to the OxyClean right here, I don't feel like eh, it's kind of a toss up. And then the Dawn Platinum Power Wash, that one also looks pretty good. But if I had to choose using OxyClean or Dawn over the Lysol, hands down, I would use one of these two. With the Zep Grout, I don't feel like it did any better than any of the others. And all of the warnings on the Zep bottle about how caustic it is, that makes me want to steer away from that as much as possible. And when it's not doing that much better, eh, you know, I'm not sure that that's the one I would choose. Now though, I do want to go over and look at our latecomer results and that is a steam cleaner right there I'm gonna get real close I don't know if you can tell if you can see the difference the way that I can with my own eyes there's a huge difference like hands down I feel like this was better by a long shot and there's one added perk to using the steam cleaner as opposed to every other method here is with the steam cleaner. It's got a long attachment right here. So I don't have to bend over. See that? So I can do that standing up. I have to hunch a little bit. It's not as long as I want. It probably has another attachment here. I just couldn't find that. But um, I don't have to get on my hands and knees to scrub. So that in itself is a winner, but way better. I was not planning on putting this into the contest because I didn't bring mine. But since they had theirs here, I was glad to add that to the test and definitely, definitely better. So I'm going to quickly just kind of steam clean the rest of this area. So very interesting results. I was super glad I did this test and I'm glad to compare head to head how the steam cleaner does with all the rest of these chemicals. Before I start cleaning the entire floor with the steam cleaner, I just want to say a quick something about the owner of this home. She is a dear friend of mine and I love her to pieces. She has a chronic illness. It's called gastroparesis. If you haven't heard of that before, don't be surprised. It's not a very well known diagnosis, but basically what it means is your stomach stops working. And when you think about the implications of that, it's pretty severe. So getting nutrition for her is a challenge. She has had, I actually don't know how many surgeries in the stomach area, and she now has to have uh, feeding tubes and IVs. And these IVs, she has to get twice a day, I think, and it's four hours each IV, which means she literally has eight hours of her life every single day hooked up to a tube just to stay alive, which is a pretty challenging thing. But she keeps herself upbeat and very positive. But what she can't do is get down on her hands and knees and clean grout. I don't like to do it and I'm perfectly healthy, but she literally can't. So I'm really grateful to her for letting me come and to be able to get this grout clean for her. Once I got here though, I looked around at her kitchen and decided that her kitchen needs a little bit of help as well. And if you follow our channel at all, we love to organize and I can't help but want to dive in and organize this. So stay tuned for an upcoming video here where I am going to do a clean with me in her kitchen and we're going to be doing a ton of organizing with the goal of being able to make her kitchen table and her desk and her counters more usable by getting stuff off of those surfaces and into cupboards and storage containers in the pantry where they belong so that she can regain full use of her kitchen. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm really excited to do that for her. It's going to be a fun project. I think that it's really going to maximize the use of this relatively small kitchen. So watch for that in the future. This right here is called Abyssal Cross Wave. It's a cordless, it's a vacuum and a mop all at the same time. So you are gonna witness the power of steam right here. Just pay attention to what goes on right here and what you're gonna see coming out along the sides. Since I have never heard of the Simber steam cleaner, I thought I would go check it out on Amazon. I thought it was funny that the steam cleaner was tucked in a corner under a towel with dust accumulating on it. I don't think the owner really understands how amazing steam cleaners are. And when I'm done with this video, I'm gonna show her all of the amazing things that it can do. When I looked this brand up, I have to admit that it looks pretty good. The price point lies at $129.99 on Amazon and it comes with 18 attachments. Most every attachment that I think really is necessary to be useful with 
the steam cleaner. It includes a steamer mop head, a couple of extension wands, which are really great. And I demonstrated here while cleaning the grout, but it's also really good for getting up into high spots too and for mopping. It has a squeegee for windows and mirrors, as well as the usual brush head attachments. So that wraps up this video. Thank you for bearing with me in the bad lighting. It was a big job and the sun went down, but we just kept working. I must admit, I wasn't entirely that surprised that the steam cleaner won. I wasn't planning on having the steam cleaner be a part of this grout cleaner test, but it just happened to be here. And if you follow our channel at all, you know that we can't resist steam cleaning. So I just had to throw it in the mix and turns out that it was number one. I'm gonna link to this particular brand of steam cleaner in the video description down below. I think it's a really great budget-friendly option for somebody who wants to get into steam cleaning but doesn't wanna pay the higher price of some other steam cleaners that we have reviewed. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps show me the love. Also be sure to hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will be notified of our future videos. If you wanna see more of what steam cleaners can do, I'm going to put a steam clean with me video at the end of this video. Click on that and I will see you over there.